Hi, my name is Jay and I'm a 2015 Women in Science High School intern. As a part of my internship, I am working on the IMLS Silurian Reef Digitization Project. We are digitizing a group of fossils that lived in the Chicago area during the Silurian period over 420 million years ago. Back then, Chicago was covered mostly by a shallow tropical sea with reefs over 100 meters tall. The goal of this project is to convert catalog records into electronic form, to create an online database, and to make an educational website that explains the significance of these Silurian reef fossils. This will help protect the collection data, making it more accessible to researchers, students, teachers, and the general public. My job consists of entering specimen data into the database and photographing fossils and labels. These past six weeks, I have digitized Silurian rugose corals, brachiopods, and cephalopods from the Chicago area. Cephalopods are by far the coolest. Ancient cephalopods had external shells. They controlled their buoyancy by pumping water through a tiny tube called a siphuncle. It works the same way a submarine works, by pumping ballast water. What it does is it pumps water in and fills these chambers with water to sink or pumps out water to float. That aside, how does digitizing collections help researchers? Well, the fossils in our collection are arranged systematically, so for example, all the Silurian trilobite fossils are grouped together and all the Silurian corals are grouped together, regardless of where they were collected. This is great if you want to study how fossil animals are related to each other or how they evolved because all the related taxa are stored together. However, suppose you want to study the difference in biodiversity between reefs in different areas. Since fossils from the same area are not stored together, you would have to search through every drawer and read every label to find the specimens that you are interested in. By entering this information into a database, finding these fossils becomes much less of a hassle making it as easy as a Google search. My favorite part of the job is photographing the fossils. The specimens are photographed using low angle lighting. These photographs allow researchers to see what parts of the specimens are preserved and the condition they are in. It also helps students and teachers to recognize fossils. The most valuable part of the collections is the information we have on each fossil, including what it is, how old it is, and where it was collected. This data is in a precarious state, preserved only through handwritten labels or catalog entries more than 100 years old. We preserve these labels by digitizing them so that the very same information can be accessible in the future as well. All of these fossils have data and a story to tell. Scientists interpret this information to find out more about evolution, paleoecology, biodiversity, and what the world was like 430 million years ago. This internship not only gave me the opportunity to work with scientists in the real world, but also allowed me to participate in something of great importance to future scientific research. Fossil rock! Yeah! You did? Fossil rocks are in the ground tonight.